Have you ever wanted to do something as simple but useful as add speed control to your videos on WordPress? Now, if that's you, I know this is something that I like to do because I have listened to content at one and a half or two times speed for probably the last five to seven years. And it's made a big difference, frankly, a big impact in the way that I learn and how much I'm able to learn at one time. And uh, it's not really easy to do this right there built into WordPress. Okay, WordPress has no default option for actually building in speed control. So I want to show you a plugin and a tool that I use for things a lot more than just speed control, but uh, to show you how the speed control functionality on there does work. And I think you'll uh, really, really like it. Okay. So I want to show you a tool called Presto Player, the ultimate WordPress video player plugin. And you know what? I agree. It's missing a thing or two, but for the most part, it's actually really good. It even does audio as well. Um, muted overplay. Uh, it's great for courses. A lot of really fantastic features with Presto Player. I highly recommend you to upgrade to the Pro option, although uh, you don't need the Pro option to actually do what we're going to show you in this video, okay? Um, but again, definitely a fantastic tool, and I think uh, you're going to appreciate what I have to show you. So let's go over here then, and we will start the process. So of course, you have to go to PrestoPlayer.com, sign up for a license. Uh, if you want to go with the Pro, then that's cool. You can go ahead and... Um, um, sign up for that. Regardless though, you can just come here to the WordPress plugin directory and you should be able to just download the regular uh, plugin right here. So you just type in Presto Player right there in the repository and there you go. And of course it shows in my case that the, uh, that the plugin is active. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come down here and I'm going to get myself out of the way. You are going to come down here to Presto Player on the sidebar and you're going to go to your media hub. So the way that Presto Player works is you have everything uploaded here into a media hub and then within each individual video, you can actually configure the settings differently and then you will use a short code to actually post the video to the page that you'd like to or if you use a page builder like Divi, they actually have a module for the page builder where you can just go ahead and add that to whatever page you're working on straight away without the need to use a short code. Pretty cool stuff. So we'll show you how this works. So you come right here to the media hub and what you'll do is just grab a video and you can have many different options here. You can grab a video straight from the WordPress dashboard. You can grab a YouTube URL. You can uh, grab one from Vimeo or bunny.net. Bunny is fantastic. Uh, bunny.net is where I actually host all of my videos and stream them from when I'm actually doing something like, like this, like a course or a video that's hosted on a website. For the purposes of this though, we're just gonna grab a YouTube video. I don't have one prepared, so we're just gonna go to YouTube and grab any old video. Oh, this one right here looks good. So we will just copy that link. And there we go. So we're gonna do YouTube. We're gonna paste the URL and click add video. And there we go, we have our video around iPad OS 16. Now what you wanna do is you see here, it's on the default preset. I'm gonna move me out of the way again. It's on the default preset and you have all of these different options to choose from. Um, but what you could do is come right here and if you choose YouTube optimized, this one's gonna have all your basic, you know, speed control and all of that in it. Or you could always come right here and add a new preset. And I just wanna show you what this interface looks like. So if you add a preset here, you have all these controls. Again, some of these definitely are only going to apply um, on the uh, pro version. Um, but I, again, I did just wanna show you these options that you have. You can actually change the, the controls. You can add speed to it uh, or take the speed control away. Um, you can get rid of the current time. You can get rid of the fast forward. I mean, it's just really amazing. Tons of flexibility that you have. Uh, so for now, I'm just going to go ahead and leave this one on YouTube optimized and uh, I will just title this uh, test something simple and hit publish. Okay, so that's all published. So now what I'm going to do is go back out to my WordPress dashboard and I see here I have test and I'm going to grab my short code. Okay. Now what I have to do is just come right here and create a new page. And once I have that, I can give the page a title. I can come right here and paste the shortcode if I want to. 
and we'll just preview it, see what it looks like. This is going to look pretty bad because um, we have nothing more than the short code here in this blank page content. Uh, as I said, it looks really bad, but there we go. We do have the video posted in there, and you can come right here and play the video and change your speed right here. You can see speed control, and you can change it to two times or one and a half, uh, et cetera, okay? So that's how you do it. That's the that's the basics. Now, if I were to be using Divi, for example, I could very easily just go ahead and switch this over to a, a uh, visual builder session. And if you use Elementor, um, they're going to have an option for you here. I'm not sure about Beaver Builder or other page builders, um, but I know for sure Divi and Elementor, they work well with. Uh, we're just going to say use existing content. And then what we'll do is it's going to just add a text module here with that short code. I'm actually going to get rid of that. Come right here and add Presto Player Media. And I can choose my test video. And there we go. Now it's in there. And of course, uh, as you know, with uh, Divi, I can come here and actually change the sizing up a little bit so that it looks great. And, you know, center it, etc. But that's how you get speed control right there in WordPress using Presto Player and also how to go ahead and add that to a page, whether or not you're using a page builder.